There will be plenty of tears and tirades on The Biggest Loser. And a famous reality show winner will try to prove that he can survive a weight loss workout. I'm dying to learn why I want to be fat. I wouldn't be fat if I didn't want to be fat. So clearly, I want to be fat. Why? That's my journey. That's why I'm here. He's brutally honest about his battle with his weight. And now the first ever winner of Survivor, Richard Hatch, is looking to be the next biggest loser. Is it shock value? I don't know if it's shock value or not. My starting weight's 314, so maybe 225 might be a stunning, smoking hot weight for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not the only reality star in the running. There's also Erin Willett, who was a contestant on The Boys. At 238 pounds, she says dealing with the death of her father during her season on the show led to her weight gain. I struggled with bulimia uh, and was just very disgusted with myself that I had gone to these lengths. This show is going to be raw this season. We pretty much have turned this house into what it really is, and that is a rehab center. Trainer Bob Harper takes over as host and says emotions run high this season from a mom struggling with the loss of her child to a 237 pound health care provider. It's difficult to sit down and talk to a patient about weight and the harmful effects of that when a lot of times I'm bigger than they are. Bob also promises lots of changes on the show, except for maybe one thing. <laughs> Even in the first episode, you're gonna see me yell at people on treadmills. <laughs> which I feel which I feel very comfortable doing. That's not very nice. Could you imagine him in your house yelling at you every morning? No, on your I treadmill? could. I have enough part of a time on the treadmill as it is.